Yes, Buddy's starting to eat the popsicles. Meanwhile, I just sneak out the front door. As for the rest of the day, we're hanging out in the mall. We got Jenny, plus one, and Trav, looking for uh, sunglasses. I told them to go to the DLV merch site and just get some DLV sunglasses, but they insist on something like this. So we're gonna look at that after. Oh, right, of course, just like you guys. Just doing a little, uh, little clothes shopping while we can, maybe looking for something from Mark. And, uh, tall tees are in, I get it. They look pretty good. But my God, they're getting longer and longer. Look at this thing. That, that's four and a half feet almost. <laughs> Small too. Let's see the extra large. Oh, they don't have an extra large. That is an extra large, it just says medium. Look at this. That's a throw blanket. Here, put this one out to you. It's a dress. Killing it. <laughs> Let's reel it back in with the shirt lengths, everybody. This is like that V-neck craze. They just kept getting deeper and deeper. <laughs> Let's reel it back in. Prom in that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do what we call in the industry panning down. Trav's trying on this nice button-up shirt, which is my size. <laughs> so you guys know it's a large. You got what you wanted. You. <laughs> where are your knee? Where are I you? honestly need help. You buttoning down. <laughs> <laughs> Who would wear this? How do you wear that and not look like a child that got into his dad's closet? Like this, I guess. <laughs> it feels so much shit in this. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna reiterate, let's reel it in with the legs. <laughs> I'm hurting my back trying to button this shit up. Uh, we've gone too far. Too far. I think we did a good job. Yeah. Speak for yourself. So, so many bags. Oh. One of those is mine. Let me get I that. Got it, Danny. Let me get that. Please. Let me be a gentleman. You're such a gentleman. Off in your car seat. I'm gonna have to sit in this uh, baby car seat because of all the bags. All I wanted from this whole trip was a uh, Christmas cookie jar. I left with a Christmas cookie jar. I think I told you guys, but. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have your vlog! <laughs> uh, it was something that like, I knew it was Christmas time when I was a kid when, when my mom brought out like a specific cookie jar. It was like a Santa cookie jar. And uh, it means a lot to me. It adds that whole festive part of the season, at least in the kitchen. Jenny, did you want to say something? I wanted to say that we're gonna have a cookie celebration. Yeah! Put them in your cookie jar. Let's make some cookies and put them in my jar. <laughs> sounds like a euphemism for something. <laughs> Jenny wants vegan cookies. Vegan cookies? Let's just make Oreos. Yeah. They're vegan, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, let's just make dog shit. <laughs> uh, let's go see Buddy. Okay, here's the moment of truth to uh, to see if Buddy maintained while I was gone. I did not crate him, so hopefully he didn't destroy anything. Also, I put some tape up uh, on the door where he was scratching it, so hopefully he didn't get through all that tape. Uh, well. I put some tape up, and uh, Buddy took care of that, didn't you, dude? This is dog. Good job, man. You got it. You got all of it. Okay, so what did we learn? Um, Buddy loves the popsicles. He uh, scarfed those things down. Also, Buddy still scratches at the door. So it's kind of like a temporary thing. The good news is I went and talked to my apartment complex like front office and they said that uh, it's happened before. Those front doors are made out of steel, which I didn't know that, and that it's not a big deal if he scratches off the first layer of paint because uh, whenever I'm ready, whenever Buddy's ready, more uh, rather, um, we can just paint over the spots that he scratched It'll be as good as new, I hope, and uh, it'll be good. I just left him on the couch. Uh, he did not bark or whimper as I left this time, and I put on Elf, the movie, which he seems to like, so hopefully uh, <laughs> hopefully that holds him over. As for me, I am getting a Christmas tree, and this lot is really, really cool, mainly because they name each one of their trees something different. Uh, this one is Pablo Escobar. 
the big Lebowski tree. <laughs> Lil Wayne. I love the name. Pork chop. By the way, pork chop's the front runner for me. It's the perfect size. It's kind of what I'm looking for. This tree is called Shrek. Clearly, because it's a different kind. And it looks like Shrek. <laughs> I found the perfect guy. The shape is perfect. Uh, he's not too tall. Not as tall as me. Well, once I cut it. <laughs> but it's also kind of like flat against the back, which works perfectly because uh, I got to push it up against that wall where all the plaques are. But this is our tree. Uh, Sven. All right. I finally made it to uh, Hollywood Studios. And now I'm looking for where the spectacle of lights is. Sean is here somewhere. I'm hoping to meet up with him, which is why I'm like running and sprinting because he told me that uh, they stopped doing the lights at eight o'clock. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's 7.50. I think I found it. Oh my gosh, I can see it. walking the wrong way. So I'm just gonna go backwards. Excuse me, sorry. Check this out. Wait, they just all turned off. Ah, they're dancing now. They got a little shout out to Star Wars. So Sean, what's your favorite part of the spectacle of light? My favorite part of the spectacle of light <laughs> is the Star Wars stuff up there. Yeah, oh, you like Star Wars. I like Star Wars. I like turtles. <laughs> My favorite thing is, you can't really see it, I'll try and zoom in, but an animal, the Muppets is hanging from the balcony covered in lights. And the cool thing about uh, the Spectacle of Lights, it's been going on for 20 years, I think since like 1995. And believe it or not, I think we saw the first one that they had. It's very fitting that Sean and I were here for the last one. Where am I? And why? The ride is stuck. This is my nightmare. Are any of you guys Frozen fans out there? All right, nice little Disney day. Night, actually, definitely night. So I just wanted to pop in and pop out, feel some Disney Christmas spirit. I mean, I live in Orlando. I'm an annual pass holder. Hang out with family. Why not? All right, DLV. Well, I'm going to head to bed from here. Tomorrow we get a Christmas tree, which is pretty dang exciting, buddy. I got a surprise. I got you an ornament that you can hang on the tree. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. All right, guys. Uh, again, as always, thank you so much for watching the vlogs. I really do appreciate it. There's your buddy footage for the day. <laughs> And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Also, there's something we missed uh, about like seven or eight days ago when I adopted Buddy. He pretty much turned one years old. 
I'm not quite sure when his birthday was because he <laughs> We miss Buddy's birthday. It's pretty much pretty, as close as it can be to <laughs> the day that I adopted him. Can you chill with this? Can you chill with that? Oh.